Hey guys, uh, so welcome to our second lesson on Dia de, de los Muertos, um, a holiday celebrated mostly by Mexicans, uh, Mexican Americans, but is also celebrated in Central America as well. Um, as you could probably tell based off of my makeup and what I personally wear when celebrating Dia de los Muertos. So Dia de, de los Muertos, it's the Day of the Dead. Uh, and it's this two-day holiday, and it brings together the living and the dead. If you ever saw the movie Coco, that's basically what it is. Um, families create these ofrendas, or this altar or table of offerings, and it's to honor the family members who have passed away. Uh, so these tables and, and offerings, they are decorated with these yellow marigold flowers. They have favorite foods and drinks, games, and the pictures of those family members. Uh, it's a day of remembrance. Uh, it's believed that if you remember and you continuously build these altars and you talk about these people, that they will live on in the afterlife and they will not fade away and they're never actually really gone. And so these offerings encourage those family members on these two days to come back and to actually visit the land of the living and join in celebration with one another. So the very first night starts at midnight on November 1st. So it's, ac it's after Halloween. Um, and the first day is the Day of the Little Angels. And this is when all of the children will come back. Um, and they are there for the first 24 hours. Um, those are the main people that they're celebrating. And the ofrendas, they typically hold a more childlike uh, feel to them. So they have the candies and the toys, as well as those photographs to have the kids come back and visit. Um, they will actually create these sugar skulls, um, which are just skulls made out of actual sugar or clay, and they're decorated in bright colors, and they'll write the names of the departed children on them. So then the second day uh, will start at midnight on November 2nd, so the very second day. Uh, and that day focuses on the lives of the departed adults. So this is a night filled with all kinds of laughter and fun memories and celebration. Uh, the major difference is that the friendas, the altars with all the offerings, they'll be filled with things like alcohol and mezcal and pan de muerto. Um, common foods and drinks that adults really enjoy. Uh, people will celebrate by playing games and they'll dance all night long while the village band plays music. Um, along with the second night being all about the adults, starting at noon on November 2nd is the grand finale. Uh, it's this public celebration of Dia de Montos and people then all come together together and they'll dress up uh, with calavera painted faces which you can see here they paint it as a skull on their face uh, I just have the half face today when I actually celebrate I do the full face and they'll come together and they'll dress up there will be parades um, people are dancing and celebrating and drinking and laughing with one another and with their deceased family members having come back to them uh, this is also the time that people actually go and visit the cemeteries where the deceased are and they'll clean up the gravestone so they'll restore it to its original color and they'll decorate it with the marigold flowers, the gifts, and the sugar skulls uh, that you have made. So one of the big things I think uh, that people kind of misconceive is Halloween and Dia de Muertos. They are two totally different celebrations and two totally different holidays. Um, most people in Mexico actually do not celebrate Halloween. This is what they celebrate, is de la de, de, de los um, It is a way to remember your family members and for them to come back and you still get some time to spend with them because of all of this. Uh, and then another difference is the sugar skulls. So as we saw up here, the sugar skulls versus the calavera painted faces. So people will paint their faces and they'll call it the sugar skull. That is incorrect. The sugar skull is actually the physical thing that you make. You're making a skull actually made out of sugar and out of clay and painting it. And that's where you write the names on. 
when you paint your face, it's Calavera, the skeleton. You're dressing as the skeletons. Uh, women will typically wear these types of flowing tops and they'll have the marigolds in their hair. And then they will also have big skirts embroidered with all kinds of flowers. And just depending on what part of Mexico you are in, that'll determine what type of patterning that the women are wearing. The men will typically have these suits on and they are traditional uh, Mexican suits and Spaniard suits. Uh, so they actually have all kinds of embroidering on them. So really fancy gold flowers and just designs sewed into the suits. And it's usually, they'll have some kind of hat. It's usually one of those types of fancy or three piece hats along with the painted faces. And that is a big part of celebrating and doing the grand celebration together. So the main words to know, Day of the Dead, Sugar Skulls and Calavera, The Difference, Ofrendas, and Marigold Flowers. Uh, this is the type of flower that's very important on this day. Uh, and as usual, there's a picture on the bottom here for you guys. Uh, this is another example of how to do that type of um, painted face. You can do all kinds of slightly different de designs. Pretty much every time I do it, I try something new. Uh, this is a holiday that I hold very near and dear to my heart. As I had shared with you guys a few years ago, my abuelo, uh, the one who was from Mexico, he passed away. And so celebrating De La Matos, it's a way for me to keep him alive and alive in my heart. And so I encourage all of you that this time, around this time next year, uh, you don't have to do the full celebration, but honestly, just putting out that person's picture, maybe lighting a candle and putting their favorite food by it, and just remembering them during that time to keep their memory alive and celebrating life. Not grieving death, but celebrating life, because that's what this holiday is all about. So uh, the activity for this week, uh, you guys are creating a restaurant menu. So go ahead and do that. You can do multiple entrees and desserts, or you can just do one, uh, really explore that food and that part of the culture. And if you can, join us for cooking at the end of the week. And I'll see you guys next week when we go into South America and their culture. Bye, guys.